Hi, my name is Greg Kandare from Acumen Learning, and I want to talk to you today about a, a really a critical industry, and that is the oil and gas industry. As a company, we train um, and facilitate training around business acumen all over the world for all types of companies. And really one of the biggest practices that we have as a company and one of in the, in the industry that we serve often is the oil and gas industry. And it's a vast industry. But I want to take a minute and break it up a little bit into really the three common categories or the three phases of the supply chain of oil and gas. And those three phases are upstream, midstream, and downstream. So each of them has their unique characteristics. Each of them has a unique business characteristics as well, financial and business characteristics. Let's talk about upstream. Upstream is often referred to as E&P or exploration and production. And it's exactly as it sounds. It's the exploration and the finding of oil and gas, and it's the production of it. Now the exploration of it is a very complicated, expensive process of data analysis, geological analysis, uh, characterization, and finding out where the oil is and exactly how big it is and all of this work that has to be done that can take years. And once a reserve is proven, then there's the production of the the systems, the, the well itself, to be able to produce this oil or gas, depending on the, the reserve that you're talking about. So exploration, finding oil and gas. Production, setting up the well, and now actually extracting it out. That's kind of the upstream portion of the industry. The midstream portion of the industry is now that you have oil and gas that's being produced, you have to, you have to move it, whether it be shipping, whether it be rail car, you have to store it in different locations. So it's the storage, it's the transportation, and, and processing of it is really part of the midstream part of the, this ecosystem. And then in the end, you have to take all of these oil and gas and you refine it into the final products. This is the refining it to uh, diesel fuel. This is the refining it to um, jet fuel. This is the refining it to the gas that we buy in a gas station, whether it be 88 or 91 or 93 uh, octane. All of that is part of the system of the downstream portion of the industry. Also downstream is just is what we mostly associate with the oil and gas industry, and that's the gas station. That's the gas station that we go to, what's referred to as retail. Now those are three different kind of pieces of that supply chain, but all three of these have their own unique kind of financial and strategic and business characteristics. Let's talk about exploration and production. If you're a company in the expert, an EMP company, exploration and production company, or that's a portion of a company's business, how do they make money? Well, they spend money in some cases for five to 10 years looking for these reserves, proving these reserves, uh, and then building the well systems around them and producing them. Now, once they're making money, it could be five, 10 years later, and they might, and that well may serve uh, for five to 10 years or, or more after that. A lot of cash and a lot of time and a lot of risk. Margins tend to be a lot higher in this portion of, this, of the ecosystem. Why? Because of the risk, because of the capital. The midstream portion of the business, margins are typically a little bit lower. Five to eight percent is common, historically speaking. Now, it has been volatile in the last few years, but the risk is lower, the capital more definitive, and in many of these companies have kind of transitioned to more of a fee-for-service. Hey, if you want to store your fuel here, will pay, pay a certain amount, and this is a storage fee. This is a transportation fee. Risk is lower, return on the investment capital is, is quicker, uh, and so more reflective of that industry, five to 8% margins. When you get down to the retail side, um, a lot of people are often surprised to find out that the retailers, the gas station on the corner, makes maybe one and a half to 3% net income on fuel. Why? Because they're buying it. From, from that hole all the way down there at the very end. And they're, at this point, it's a commodity. Uh, and the less differentiated it is, the more of a commodity is, the lower the margins. So your local retailer is typically making money off of the convenience store. They're making money off of other services, the, the propane filling to your tank, the ice that you're buying. All of these things are sub to um, subsidize their overall business. So again, as a summary, oil and gas industry, big industry, kind of three pieces, upstream, midstream, downstream. Upstream, this is exploration and production of oil and gas assets. Midstream, this is the transportation and the processing of oil and gas. And downstream, this is the refining 
and the actual retail consumption of, of oil and gas.